Oh, hey, Internet. Um, you've caught me in the middle of my afternoon nap slash YouTube watching time. I have Google Chrome and I watch all my YouTube videos on my TV. But it's awesome. I love Google Chrome or Chrome TV. What is it? Google Chrome TV. Chrome Chromecast. That's what it is. Boy, that took a while. So yeah, I'm watching Philip DeFranco. Oh my gosh, Orange is the New Black has a new trailer out. I'm definitely, I'm so excited. If you haven't watched that, it's on Netflix. It's one of the greatest new shows ever. So you should definitely watch it on the Netflix. Orange is the New Black. BF versus GF. Queasy Waiter. It's good, it's done. That's it. You two is react! Uh, I have to go to work, but I just want to stay home and watch YouTube videos. Because I have a cool job, but even though I do have a cool job, it's still a job, and everyone likes to, you know, not go to work, right? So, but this video I'm watching, the YouTubers react to a kid getting his first likes, it kind of reminds me, because I've been in, like, a radio... Uh, business and stuff like that and I've done podcasting and doing some YouTube videos now but I feel like even though I've had all this experience in uh, radio and stuff I still feel like with YouTube I'm so new to it that I still get really excited when I look and see like oh my gosh we're almost we're so close to 100 subscribers so uh, you guys make it uh, possible for me to uh, you know it's it's a dream that I have to be able to work for myself and create videos that you're going to want to watch. So thanks for subscribing if you haven't already. I mean, that's um, half the battle. And it is weird because it does mean something to, you know, the YouTube world. If they look and you have over a hundred subscribers or a million subscribers or whatever. So as a YouTuber, you have to ask for that. And if you haven't subscribed, then what are you waiting for? <laughs> it, it may, it's so exciting to uh, get a like on a video or a comment. And because, uh, first of all, you don't know when to react or to, to the positive ones. You want to, like, Jim from, uh, from Scranton, Pennsylvania wants you to make another video. And I'm like, I can't leave the house. Jim wants me to make another video. So I'm, uh, I really love watching YouTube videos because they inspire me. And there's so many great YouTubers now, and I'm subscribed to a lot of them. But if you have uh, YouTubers that you watch that you uh, love, and you should tell me. I mean, there's so many YouTubers out there, I can't possibly know them all. But uh, I subscribe to uh, quite a bit of these YouTubers that I uh, am very inspired by. And they they make me want to keep doing more and being better and better. And Shay, in this video uh, on the Fine Brothers channel, uh, YouTubers react. One of the things the kids was kid was doing was looking at himself instead of into the camera. And I know I do that all the time, but I can't help it. It's the front facing camera thing. And so I try to look right here when I I'm actually looks looking into the screen most of the time. <laughs> but whatever, I'm. Not a professional. When Sierra was here, we went to Starbucks every day, and now that she's not here, I I go like on the weekends once in a while, but I usually make most of my coffee drinks at home. But I found this at the store, and it's awesome. If you like their vanilla lattes, I uh, take one to work every night, so it's kind of like my my little daily treat. It's seriously not a. It's, I swear this isn't a commercial for Starbucks. It just happened that I have my plastic cup, and this is both for if. If you have a product that you want me to try, I swear I'll try it. Where do you guys put your wallet? Do you, I mean, as a guy, I always put my wallet in my front pocket. I just have like this little clippy thing and I put it in my front pocket because I've never liked having a wallet in my back pocket. And that's also where I put my phone. I put my phone, I put my wallet and my keys in one pocket and then my phone in the other pocket. And I never have a problem finding it. I always know where it is, and uh, the only time, it's like if I use my phone for navigation in the car, which I do all the time, <laughs> because 
I am horrible with directions. Are you guys like that too? I, I can't, seriously, I don't know where I am. I have to use GPS constantly. Um, I feel so good if I've been to a place like 10 or 15 times so I finally know it by heart. But I'm so horrible uh, with sense of direction that it's kind of embarrassing because you get into the car with someone and you're like, okay, let's go. Do you know where it is? I'm like, um, hold on, let me type it into the searching thing and I'll use my Google Maps. But I always put my phone in my pocket, but the only time I forget my phone is if I take it out to use it for directions. And I'll actually get out of the car and I'll walk like four or five steps and we're going, oh my gosh, I don't have my phone. So, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's, like, an, it's like that certain sudden shock of like, oh my gosh. And now that I use my phone for vlogging and stuff, it's like even more so. So, where do you put your phone? I see a lot of girls put their phones in their back pocket, which I think is weird. Like my nieces put their phones in their back pocket and I, I would p sit on it and crush it. But that's just me. But uh, I, put, I put everything in my front pocket. So yeah, if you're trying to pit po pickpocket me, <laughs> all my important things are in my front pockets at all times. All right, internet, I'm at work here at Westwood One. You can come in with me as long as you promise to behave yourself. Okay, that's... <laughs> it's like I'm talking to a kid that's coming home, come to work with daddy. Uh, I just found this article of all these creepy pictures, Easter Bunny pictures. Look at all these. Uh, uh, evil, evil bunny. <laughs> um, no, I don't want any of that. And that is what nightmares are made of right there. Uh. <laughs> I am not going to be able to sleep tonight. Okay, I'm in the restroom here at work, and this is here for reading material, I guess. That, I don't, what is bluke? And, and why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds like something you do in the restroom. And then, this is a thing that is happening, and every time you turn the corner and you see this guy, it's like, ah! He's always watching. Okay, all right. Sorry, sir. Just no trouble. I'm just vlogging here. Internet, I'm at the grocery store to get one thing. Salsa. You ever go to the, just the grocery store because, like, you need that one thing? There's certain stores that only... Ha they have, like, the one item, the brand, that you can't get anywhere else. Like, for instance, this uh, store that I'm going to has my favorite salsa. It's called Mrs. Renfro's. And... It's like you can't get it in every store. So most stores you can get everything at, and then there's just like those few items you can only get specialty at certain stores. So I'm here. I feel like a goob when I just go up to the, here's my thing, I just wanted salsa. At least it's not a special kind of toilet paper that I can only get in one place. Toilet paper you order on the internet. We all know that, right? And everyone knows my biggest pet peeve at a grocery store when people just leave their shopping carts. What? I mean, seriously? What? What's wrong with people? So I got more than just salsa. Oops. So the girl in this store is super cool. She's checking me out. And I guess, because I only had like salsa and a few other things. I know. I know. It's, it's really hard for me just to go into the grocery store and get one thing, you know? But um, no, the girl, I guess it's policy here. When you check out, no matter what, they have to ask you if you need help out. So like if I had a pack of gum, they say, you need help. They have to ask. It's part of their job. I think it should be up to their discretion, don't you? I mean, look at, do I look like a guy who needs help with a couple of bags of salsa? <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, it's nice that they do that, but she just told me there was a guy 
that uh, one time she had a ton of groceries and they asked him if he needed help out and he's like, no, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not offended by it, but I think it's weird like that they have to ask, like it's their store policy, but maybe I'm sure something happened. You know what I mean? That's everything like that is always, there's always a reason for it. Some, some guys like, they didn't ask me to help out if I needed help and I dropped dead because I had too many sauces. I made it to the garage. You know, I was just noticing this guy on his Bluetooth in the grocery store. I know people do a lot of business and they talk and that kind of thing on Bluetooth. Blue, is it Bluetooth or tooths? On their Bluetooth. Anyway, um, it's annoying. And the only time anyone should ever be on a Bluetooth is if they're in a car driving. Pick up your phone and just talk on it. You don't need to be hands-free while you're getting meat at the butcher counter at the grocery store. And the other thing is, is uh, don't, if you are wearing a Bluetooth for some reason, don't make eye contact with me because that's, that's weird. And I don't know. I just, the, the obnoxiousness of the Bluetooth, it never looks like anybody on a Bluetooth conversation is having a fun time. And they're sitting there talking out loud like someone's there when they're just talking to themselves. I'm always relieved when it's a crazy person just talking to themselves and not somebody on their Bluetooth. So all I'm saying is for safety reasons, yes, Bluetooth. But for every other reason, stop it. Thank you. This message brought to you by the Internet Council. I swear this isn't product placement video or anything like that. But Julie's Organic are from Eugene, Oregon. And all their ice creams are so good. They have sorbet and all that kind of stuff too. But if you see that in the store, just, just get it because it's delicious. And I know it says organic, but don't let that fool you. It's still delicious. See, what a perfect combination. <laughs> I'm having, I'm going to make some uh, guacamole and I'm going to try this pomegranate salsa. I don't know. It sounds good. And I got a toothbrush for when I'm done. Oh, and some wine. Uh, I saw this on uh, Travis from We The Kings. His, his vlog, they were having some red truck and I've never tried it before, so I thought I'd try that. And then Clay House. I've never tried that one before either, so. Wine. It's not a complete video unless you get Little Tiny being cute, which is all the time. What are you doing, Little Tiny? <laughs> Molly? I think I could just leave this on a webcam 24-7 and people would watch it. <laughs> yeah, you're so cute. So are you. Well, that's going to do it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you've subscribed, thank you. I see a lot of new subscribers every day, so it's really cool to see that. And please leave comments, thumbs up the video. That all means something to me, the creator of these glorious vlogs. So uh, thanks a lot, guys, and see you tomorrow, as always.